we finally have world's first available to purchase HDMI 2.1 splitter, switcher, scaler, all of that. And of course, as I said multiple times in my videos, the world first is by the wonderful people over at HD Fury. This is their 8K Varoom 40 gigabit per second matrix. So this is a matrix, it's a switch, it's an upscaler, it's an audio extractor, it's all sorts of stuff. And actually it's very similar to their uh, Diva 4K, which I have right here, which is actually more expensive. This thing is $419, which is very expensive. This one was like more like $500. Um, but I do have their Diva 4K. It is incredibly powerful. More than the average person needs. So if you just need a scaler or a switch or a splitter, I would wait because they're going to come and they're going to be a lot cheaper. But this one does everything. So it will downscale, pass through, upscale any signal, be it, be it variable refresh rate or not, while extracting full audio from any HDMI source as well to feed it into your audio mixer. Now, it's only 40 gigabit per second, and as far as I know, the only difference between the 48 gigabit per second and 40 gigabit per second HDMI 2.1 ports is the 12-bit support, which doesn't matter for any real-world use case. Uh, so, you still got HDR, you got variable refresh rate, you got Atmos and surround sound and all of that. It'll also strip out the HGCP of your Blu-rays and things like that to make it more cooperative. It will do so much that I can't even list it all here because it does just about everything. So this will be useful for people who want to play on their, like I have back here on my LG CX OLED, play their HDMI 2.1 game consoles in 4K 120 or with adaptive sync or whatever or in 8K, and you can scale it down to 4K, you can scale it down to a capture card friendly format, you can convert variable refresh rate, I believe, to non-variable refresh rate. We will see how that works because currently I wasn't aware that this was possible, uh, but it seems to be something that you might be able to do, in which case you can play in variable refresh rate and still stream without it. Now, granted, you will still have tearing. That's impossible to get rid of. But, you know, whatever. It's got HDCB conversions, color space conversions, everything. So, I am super stoked. It is, of course, very expensive. I have placed my pre-order, but they do not ship until November. This first sale wave is the only one that will probably actually get to you in 2021. Now, this is what I said earlier on the channel multiple times. This is what they said earlier in the year. And currently, I'm not aware of any that are actually shipping that are currently available in this market for HDMI 2.1 just yet. There's another company called HDTV Supply that has, like, a wolf pack or something set of uh, splitters and uh, switchers is the word I'm looking for and all of that. However... They still have not shipped. I've actually been in email contact with them, and they kept saying they would send me them once they're shipping, and so far, everything has just, you know, he just keeps replying, saying soon. So, we will see.